Well, the uh, facility has seen a lot of changes over the years, but uh, mostly it's remained the same. Uh, most people consider it a gym, and uh, it's still hard to get out of that, that thought process of a gym. Um, the uh, facility, when I was here at Mace County Central, uh, we pulled bleachers out from the sides, and the audience looked to the stage uh, from the sides, and we managed to do uh, some shows, one show a year usually in here. In uh, 2007, um, we did get some renovation. They tried to turn it into a more of a multi-purpose space, and it still doesn't function well for a theater because the uh, museum is very large. There's no uh, wing space at all, so you can't bring on scenery or fly in scenery, so it's really hard to do some productions. Um, but we try to make it work. Um, we've done uh, middle, sc middle school productions in here as well as trying to do elementary and junior high programs in here. We can get 600 people in the facility. Uh, they're all sitting on any chair we can find. Uh, it isn't permanent seating, so we have to haul things out from the sides and try to make that work and then put down benches just so they have places to see, it, to, to, uh, see their child in a production. So the, the band, choir, um, jazz band, uh, middle school plays, high school plays, a uh, lot, of, lot of potential for a, a real facility, a facility that would allow us to even get the community to use it and rent it out to uh, other groups, dance groups. Um, uh, West Shore Community College is interested in a larger facility, come in to tour into a facility, uh, which would be wonderful to have that uh, element here as well. The main thing is it's easy. You can turn it on, uh, turn the lights on, turn the, the sound on, you're ready to go. Currently what we have is there's a constant transition to try to make it work for uh, um, everything from uh, girls cheer to, as you can see, track, um, track and field, to uh, even uh, you know, uh, wrestlers warming up in here, doing events in here, volleyball. It, it's a shared facility and it's really very difficult to make that transition to try to set up for something or to offer somebody something like uh, uh, area schools that might want to come in and do something jointly with us. If we want to do a theater festival, if we want to have a competition, we don't really have the facility to do that or the lighting to do that. The lighting and the sound from 2007 are now getting uh, obsolete, so we're in the process of having to reinvest a bunch of money just so we could have what we currently have. So uh, an auditorium would help with that aspect to actually have a facility that um, is update. Uh, update lighting, update sound. Also, not just to mention that, but a teaching environment to be able to teach lighting, teach sound, uh, have acting classes on the stage uh, so they learn to project and students uh, um, that would do that. We have students that still manage to get away and be professional performers. We have professional musicians out there, we have actors, we have a student who just got, got a four-year scholarship uh, to U of M for acting. Um, even though we don't have great, great facilities, it, it would really benefit and draw kids in uh, to the, a good facility. Not to mention just being able to have the entire school watch an event, uh, guest speakers that might be brought in instead of trying to listen in a gym where it's uh, very difficult to get attention where you're in an auditorium that helps as well.